And here we are. Damn, this place looks creepy as hell. I like it. Of course I like it. It's dark. And look, there are a ton of places to set up portals. Looks like a monster's paradise in there for a few good scares. I might be the type of monster that protects, but even I like to cause a good scare every once in a while. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Well, I'm asking just because you never looked this frightened of going in somewhere. It's just a school. So what? It's haunted because there are a bunch of monsters inside that like to prey on kids. You've dealt with plenty of monsters before. What makes this one different? Wait. So it's because you were watching me play out last last night? They haven't gotten better at lying over the years. Probably a good thing. I told you not to watch. Oh, you're such a chicken shit when it comes to shit you see on TV. Why would you watch me play it knowing we're going to come here tonight? And you could have told me that, and I would have stopped playing and figured out something else to do with you. Well, I like playing the game, yes. Ever since you introduced me to video games, I like playing the horror ones. But you know I would stop on a dime if it meant hanging out with you. You could have watched that stupid TV show you've been obsessed with recently. So? I would have just made fun of it again. Okay, are we really going to argue about this here, in front of this building? Can't we at least get inside where I can stretch out a little? Because traveling in your car in my original form is a pain in the ass. I practically have to fold myself in half to get in that way. So, being in human form is more practical. And what let you drive here by yourself? If I had portaled here and something had happened to you on the way over, I would have been failing at my job. Besides, you might just have turned back around if I wasn't there to give you some courage. Ow! I was just kidding. Oh, come on. The faster we close up those portals, the faster we get to go home and relax. Oh, padlocks. I hate these things. How do you want to go about this? Lockpick or brute force? That figures. You always choose lockpicks. Alright, I'll cover you. If their hands keep shaking like that, they're going to lose their tools. I guess the game last night really freaked him out. You know that works better if your hands are shaking like you are going through a sugar high. Listen, little one, I, I know you can pick a lock, but clearly you're having some trouble. C can we give my way a go this time? It's an abandoned school. People will probably just think that some kids decided to play truth or dare here and snuck in for a good time. And you know it's not an issue for me. I'll just tear the thing off. Thank you. Ah, oh, damn. I love that sound. It's perfect for setting the mood. What? What's the look for? Oh, what did I say? Hey, little one, wait up. It's a good thing they thought to bring a flashlight. I can see because I'm a monster, but the darkness of this place is not good for human eyes. Even with the full moon out tonight. Nice place. I think you sometimes forget that I'm a monster, too. This kind of place is perfect for someone like me. Dim lighting, creaky doors, echoing of footsteps. It's the perfect atmosphere for a good scare. No, hey, get that flashlight out of my face, will ya? You know the light gives me headaches. Alright, alright, I'll stop looking around like I'm house shopping or something. There. Don't seem to be any cameras, so I'm going to change back. You aren't going to get too scared if I do, yeah? Ouch, okay, I'll stop teasing. I should have never taught you how to throw a right hook. I'm much better. And the ceilings are high enough that I can stand properly. Oh, it's not my fault everything is made for humans and not monsters. On my plane, everything is made with high vaulted ceilings. I don't have to worry about bashing my head every few seconds. Oh, hush you and let me do my thing. Uh, oh, well, I'm glad you think it's cool my wisps look like roots. Now hush, I'm trying to see what's here. I remember the first time I extended myself like this. They freaked out. Now there's a look of fascination on their faces too cute for words. Now, focus. No, shut, what the hell is this place? How did it get so populated without anyone hearing it? Multiple portals. No wonder why the kids that do sneak in here are found in catonic states. Who knows how many monsters come here every night waiting to hunt. We're going to have a long night ahead of us. There seems to be one in every shadowed corner. 
Actually, I don't think I've ever seen this many portals open. Probably why the kids in town are having trouble sleeping. The monsters can come from here and then sneak into the houses that way without leaving a trail in the house. Clever plan. Yes, there are. I wonder if they did this because we've been tracking down rogue monsters. Maybe they heard we were in the area and wanted to cover their tracks. You'd be surprised. A couple of my monster pals told me we're causing quite the stir in the monster world. I mean, we're practically famous there. You could look a little happier about that, you know. Fame is not a bad thing. Plus, if they fear us, they're less likely to mess with us. Little one, I am one of the strongest monsters alive. I highly doubt anyone wants to take on the challenge of knocking me down a pegger. What the shadows? What is that? Shit, when did it get so dark? Even I can't see anything. Oh, well, that was the first, huh? I never had this happen before. Little one? Little one, where are you? They were right here. Where are they? This isn't funny if you're playing a joke. You know I'll get you back. Little one? No. No, no, no. How dare you take them? I'm gonna find them, and when I do, I'm gonna rip you all in half and show you on display for the monster world to see. Oh, don't believe me? <laughs> Did you forget who I am? I was the first one that went rogue. The first that figured out that it was fear who gave me power. And before that human, I fed for a millennium on the fear of humans. Adults and children alike. And the fear of other monsters. That human is the only one I have ever protected in my life. And if you don't return them to me, I will feed on your fear until I are nothing but husks of your former selves. Now give them back. I said, give them back! <sighs> Fine. It's been a while since I let off some steam. <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm going to find you eventually. Let's see, where do monsters like to hide? The closet. Not there. So then under a desk? Not that one. Well, there are many more to choose from. How about the teacher's desk? There you are! Where is my human? You don't tell me, and I will start breaking things, you little stick monster. Last time I will ask, where is my human? Good monster. Now, run along to the monster plane and close the portal behind you, or I will use you to try out what humans do and roast a marshmallow with your arm. You said the boiler room. Where's the boiler room? Here it is. Little one. Little one, where are you? Little one, it's me. It's just me. Hey, no, don't be scared. It's me. Shit. They haven't been scared this much of me since they were little. I swear I'm going to find every monster in here and have a lot of fun with them. Here. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> Is this better? It's just me, little one. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, easy there. I got you. I, I got you, little one. It's okay. They're not gonna hurt you anymore. L let me get a look at you. Ah, oh, shit. That cut's gonna leave a scar. Come on. I'm gonna carry you to the car. Here we go. I into the car, little one. I easy. Easy. The cut on your head is only going to get worse. Well, let me grab the first aid kit. Here we go. This is going to sting a little bit. I know, I know. E here, let me just... <sighs> Easy. Uh, I am so sorry. 
I shouldn't have been so cocky. I should have been able to keep you right by my side no matter what happened. My job's to protect you first. You're my main priority. It's been ever since that first night I came to scare you when you were little. I protected you against your parents then. I'm going to protect you against everything now. I promise. Nothing like that will ever happen again. Let's get a bandage on that, okay? This scar is going to be a lasting reminder for me to never forget that. There we go. Are you okay? Are you sure? N don't lie to me, just to make me feel better. Okay. Give me a kiss then, to prove it. Yes, I'm going to ask for one. And not some little kiss on the cheek either. I know better this time. <laughs> Thank you. I was so worried about you. I have half a mind to never let you out of my sight again and to stop this little mission of yours to stop rogue monsters. Yes, I know. Well then, I'm going to keep helping you, my little human. But only because I know if I don't, you're going to find a way to go out and do it on your own. Don't worry. I'm going to finish up the job. You'll be safe out here. I think they know better than to go after you again. Though their caution now is not going to save them. Don't worry, little one. The only screams that will be heard for the rest of the night will be the monsters in that building. Apparently they think I am not something to fear. For humans, I might not be anymore. But for monsters... I am going to be their boogeyman.